we are embarking on a journey to create an invoice template that looks something like this. Let me give you a brief introduction about my invoice template here. On the left hand side is the core invoice template here and on the right hand side is the product against price database table on the side here. This database table can also be located on a separate worksheet or on a separate workbook altogether. I'm going to start off by creating a pull down menu on a product here. Place the cursor on cell C14 and you go to data ribbon here. And under data tools, there's data validation. Click on it. Make sure you are, uh, enable the settings tab. On the allow, you're going to select list. And you're going to click on this arrow here and go ahead and select the product from the product database here like this. And press enter twice like this. And then you will have all the available uh, product from your product database as a pull down menu. Next, we're going to create or rather pull the unit price uh, based on the product that you have selected. The unit price comes from this product database table itself. And the formula that you'll be using will be this. Essentially what this is doing is it's doing a VLOOKUP against the product that you have selected and then use that product as a baseline to get the unit price. I'm going to hit enter here. Next we're going to calculate the total. Say equal unit price multiply by total quantity that will give you your total price itself now uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and apply the same uh, drop down for all the rows by clicking on this filler handler here and then applying like that and then for the unit and total i'm going to select both of them and apply to all the rows like that and at this point your table or the, your invoice template should look like something like this i'm going to go ahead and test it out here i'm going to select maybe invisible paint and the unit price is 5709 if you look at it it matches here and then uh, just as a test i'm gonna enter a quantity of two and you should calculate the total subtotal discount tax and eventually give you the total amount that's due next we'll be adding the row hiding feature for your invoice template here but in order to do that you're going to have to introduce a helper column my column l was going to be a helper column i'm going to give the header for that column Maybe call it the helper. And the formula for that will be equal if C13 is equal to blank, then you're going to return a value of 0. If not, you're going to return a value of 1. You're going to apply the same formula right across all the way down to the very last row like this. As you can see, these first two are 1 because C13 and C14, they do have some values in it. Next, we're going to introduce or enable the filter Put, put your cursor on any of these header column here and press Control shift l and this will give you the pull down menu from the helper column you're going to click on the down arrow and make only the one visible like that and click on ok and at this point you should have two rows like this next to make it automatically increase you're going to right click on your sheet view code and add this vba script in your vba editor after that, you're going to press Ctrl S to save and close your VBA editor. Now, just as a test, if you start introducing new products in your list like this, you can see that it does add new rows for you as you add more products in your invoice. And as part of the cleanup, you can change the font color for column L to be white so that it's not visible. And then after that, you're done.